Yo, what is up guys, it's Ryan, I'm back with another video, and today we're going to be starting a new series called Ryan Reacts. Now, in Ryan Reacts, I might be reacting to, you know, something funny you guys recommend on the internet, someone's YouTube channel, videos, you name it, I'll react to anything. But the first thing I want to react to is some small YouTube channels in the coaster community, because there's so many great channels that get zero, and I mean zero attention because of big channels, and I think we should try and level that out a little bit. I think we should we should get our true potential out there. So I think with me reacting, it not only does good for me to give me more content, it also gets these other channels who might have different viewers than I do more exposure. For example, if they some of you guys who watch my videos don't watch theirs, congratulations, you might now have new fans. So today, if you guys haven't been able to read the label already, we're going to react to Coaster Scouts. And I'll be honest, I am very bad about keeping up with certain other channels who I haven't personally met yet, but I will do my best to try and keep up with these guys. I have not watched a single video of theirs, so without further ado, let's get started. Alright, the first video I'm going to watch is the most recent one because to me, I think the most recent videos are probably the best ones to watch since they usually have it's when everyone's improved the most so I don't really know this guy's name or anything but we're gonna jump right in now I'm probably gonna skip around a lot of these videos and cut a lot out because there's a lot of content here as you can see he's been here for about three years he's got about twice as many subs as I do and it would take forever for you guys to watch all of it so I'm gonna try and get the best snippets out of a few videos hopefully get him some positive exposure so let's go all right let's see what we got here personal favorite roller coasters of 2019 part one california all right let's hear it all right everyone set up right and hold on tight because we're good song all right also a good song, but a different song. X2 is the most unique roller coaster I've ever experienced as a coaster enthusiast. As the final roller coaster of aerodynamics, it's a fitting end to one of the greatest roller coaster manufacturers of the entire world. The 4D roller coaster is incredibly ingenious and incredibly drinks. breathtaking, as it gives you a level of disorientation and thrill that no other roller coaster can match. There is a certain way of writing X2 to make it incredibly enjoyable, but once you find it, it will take your breath away from beginning to end. It's One thing I already noticed is that you have a better intro than my videos. You narrate much better than I do. I don't know how you haven't got flagged for having sabotage in the background for like a minute, but hey, I'm not complaining. Took my breath away from my first ride in this coaster, and I'm sure it's going to take my breath away even more times when this I ride in the future. Definitely want to definitely wanna ride in the future so many parks I need to get to so I'm gathering this is a coaster countdown decent footage Ripple's uh, Avenge served as a dual purpose for myself not only as a way of regaining what I had lost from not riding Mantis but also becoming my first ever B&M stand-up roller coaster to ride on a coaster model that at the time began the entire B&M roller coaster company the experience of a stand-up roller coaster not is, gonna lie, your of course, is pretty good. I mean, I'm pretty sure you filmed it with the phone. Sorry if I'm wrong. Example, I can usually tell right away, but you're keeping it pretty stable, which is, is pretty good. Your legs and on your thighs, which isn't bad by any means of a stretch. But rather, it's just a noticeable experience you'll have during the entire roller coaster ride. Speaking of which, the layout and the roller coaster itself is very graceful yet forceful, as many roller coasters from B&M are expected to be. I will say that this roller coaster is incredibly picturesque. The green track with yellow support. I agree, man. Is that is a beautiful color looking coaster. Green track is awesome. A color, roller coaster like it's one of my Revenge. favorite colors. And out of all the roller coasters that I've experienced, I'm glad that Riddler's Revenge was my first ever stand up roller coaster. Alright, so I'm going to assume. I hate to skip all of the rest of this, but it does look like it's going to be a pretty good countdown. Let's just. Skip ahead to number one. 
Looks like it's Accelerators is number one. So yeah, part two coming soon. Haven't got around to that, but hey, I'm not judging you. Running a small channel is tough if you got other things to do. All right, so it looks like we got some countdowns. See what else we got here. Check this one out. So many other people manage to get so much better footage than I do. I mean, my camera is higher quality, but I think you shoot better with what you've got than what I do. So, I think this is more of a, uh, I don't want to say cinematic, but, um, I guess kind of a tribute video, if that makes sense. Kind of just footage, a little bit of music in the background, just to get the vibes going. But these are pretty cool videos, just to get your footage out there. I kind of like these videos. Personally, my favorite are the vlogs. Whenever people go to Parks and Vlog, I just get, if they're entertaining, I don't like uh, snarky people, but when people are good at vlogging, they do a pretty good job and they entertain me the most. Yeah, looks like just another... I mean, good cuts, well edited, not bad. Kinda like it. Wait, is this, uh. Oh, and Valley Fair, okay, that makes sense. So I was like, wait a minute, it's like a scalper. Alright, yeah. Check out one more video. Oh, Farewell Firehawk. All right. I mean, this is my home park, so I better watch this. Dang, I remember standing right there filming that. I think you're going for the look of disbelief. I don't know when you posted this exactly, if it was the day of the announcement or when after everything got torn down, but not sure. The music in the background definitely sets the tone though. I don't I need to get me some music in my videos that isn't just the free crap on Filmora. Around the end of September, I got news that King's Island will be closing Okay, One Rocky. thing I would recommend, and I need to work on this myself, so don't take this personally, is when you speak you want to make sure the decibels on the music behind it is dropped. Like on my software, it has to be like negative 18 decibels, I think. That way you can hear the voice a little better. But no hard feelings, dude. Everyone will get better. End of October. Was then again, this is a two-year-old video too, so he may have got better at that already. I don't know. We removed from the King's Island Coaster lineup by the end of the year. Now, when I first heard this news... I felt sad to see this coaster rest in pieces. That after 11 years of operation, I only rode Firehawk once throughout my time when I was at Kings Island, never giving myself another chance to ride Firehawk again, and truly admired the experience only Firehawk could bring. If people were to ask me what Firehawk was like, I would tell them that Firehawk was one of the many enjoyable coasters that I could ever experience. Its mixture of lying on my back, Turning myself over and putting myself down. It into was a very ground. unique ride. One of the more unique experiences I ever had on a roller coaster. Its overbank turn felt like I was flying through the wind while it's. One of my biggest things about Firehawk was I always felt like I was going to fall out of it. It felt amazing converting myself downward instead of at the top of the loop. The rest of the layout was just as fun. That loop right the there is a very elements. intense element. But that was probably the, the best part of the ride every time. Especially if you got towards the back. On my ride experience on Firehawk. Personally, I'm glad I was able to experience Firehawk when I came to visit Kings Island. I'm sure that if I was able to ride Firehawk again, I would. But circumstances are different now than when I was at Kings Island two months ago. I accept the fact that I will never ride Firehawk again, and I respect Kings Island's decision to remove Firehawk by the end of this year. It's their choice. 
And we'll see how this decision affects things, Alan. It ended up affecting us in a really good way. We are getting a... We now have a B&M Giga Coaster, which hopefully will open anytime soon after this pandemic crap ends. But, I mean, this is an awesome... These are pretty good videos. I feel bad that I haven't actually watched them before. So, um, yeah, I'm going to cut here. I think I'm about 10 or 12 minutes of watching your videos altogether. So, tons more content to watch. I will definitely put this link in the description below. And I encourage you guys to check out his videos and go like them, subscribe to them. Because, like I said, our small channels. We definitely need to show the love towards each other right now because we are getting smoked by big channels and there's tons of good content out there. So, with that being said, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys next time here at Christian Coasters where we make epic videos. Peace!